Hey guys, quick vehicle update for you. It's been a while, um, but I'm gonna kind of give you the lowdown on what's been going on vehicle-wise. And we're gonna start off with this one. Of course, I'm still running my third gen 4Runner. That thing's a beauty. And my new, to me, RAV4. Those two vehicles are not going anywhere. But uh, anyway, let's get into it. It's gonna be a quick video. And uh, yeah, I'll kind of fill you in. Hey guys, so the interior in this thing's absolutely epic. There's no rips or tears in the, in the seats. There's no cracks on the dash. Uh, and again, it's an old vehicle, it's a 94. Um, I've got a storm brewing in here. We've got a snowstorm coming up. So we're gonna, uh, I'm gonna go through this video pretty quick today. And I've got lots of new stuff coming up on the channel. All right, guys, here it is. This is the, uh, you've seen this before. If you've uh, been on my channel, I'm gonna post a link to this original video I did on this uh, in the description below. So here's a, here's a long story short. I did a bunch of work on this. I did the new rad and a bunch of other stuff. And um, a buddy of mine bought it from me. About a year, year and a half ago, he bought it from me. He had plans. He's going to build a cabin. He picked up some an acreage, and he was going to build uh, a cabin. And he needed a pickup. He also runs a Forerunner and a Alexis uh, RX 300 as well. Believe it or not, so um, his plans changed, and he was going to sell it. So in the meantime, my daughter and her boyfriend are looking for an overland rig they wanted to build up. And there was a lot of options there, of course. Um, they were thinking about a Tacoma and, uh, you know, back and forth with different ideas. And the problem with the Tacoma is it's going to be 20 years old. A lot of guys have off-roaded with it and beat the hell out of it. So that kind of was out of the, uh, uh, that kind of got shoved aside. And you can't really put much in the back of them. Um, the big campers, you know, even a sliding camper or truck bed camper, they're hard to find for that size vehicle. So she decided to go with this. My buddy Mark gave her a wicked deal on this. He put about 7,000 into this. It doesn't look like it. It needs some body work done on it. It needs some stuff to happen here. But he did a ton of work on it. Um, so we got this at a wicked deal. So she picked it up. And this is going to be the Overland build. We're going to get a slide-in camper in it the whole bit. <laughs> For some of you guys and gals that don't know what this is, this is an F-250, it's a 1994, and this is the XLT package. And um, so it's kind of loaded up for, for that, you know, from that era. Um, this is pretty cool because this is an IDI diesel engine in it. And again, this is 94. Um, and from 93 and a half to 94 and a half, they put a turbo in this and so this has the turbo which is kind of cool um, right after this in 94 they came out with the power stroke diesel and that, that's a different engine altogether of course and uh, but anyway that's what's kind of cool about this and again this is a, a kind of a local vehicle it was bought here in this province i've got all the paperwork all the original owner warranty all that stuff so it's kind of cool but we definitely need to, to get to work on this thing mechanically it's sound it's absolutely awesome mechanically no issues with it but it does need some cosmetic love this is the four-wheel drive version and this has manual locking hubs so you got to lock these hubs but it's all heavy duty heavy duty axles front and rear and it's a single cab and the single cab is great if you want to turn uh, in parking lots I had a couple OBS Fords. The white one I had was a 97, I believe. I'll put a link to that one below uh, in the description below. And that was a 97. And the 97 was an HD with an extended cab. It was like driving a bus because they're, you know, that the wheelbase is a little bit longer. And that thing, the heavy duty version, thing rode like a stagecoach. I think I lost a couple teeth in it. This one rides a lot smoother. And uh, yeah, pretty sweet. The water pump blew on it. And as you know, in the last uh, video I posted on this, link in the description below, I replaced the radiator. Um, so the radiator had to be replaced again, which, is, which sucked. Um, so he did the radiator, uh, water pump. He did all the injectors. Um, what else did he do? He did the rear leaf springs. Um, and he did more stuff, it'll come to me. If it doesn't, I'll, I'll edit it in. He's got brand new fenders for it that he threw in, so I'm gonna put the fenders on it. These ones are toast, but again, the cab itself is awesome, man. There's just no issues with it. You know, the cab corners are beautiful. The box is a little bit rough, but um, we're either gonna replace it with a new box or just patch the fenders. So this is the F-250, again, 94, uh, so it's a three-quarter ton. And the plan is to put a sliding camper in the back. It's just a great option. It's secure. It's, uh, you don't have to pack it up, and it's not like those rooftop tents that are always rotting on you if you pack them up wet. I forgot to mention, yeah, he put new tires on it as well, so that was about a G-note. Um, what I'm gonna do to it, um, I'm gonna get some new headlights for it, of course. You can see the, the problem we have here. This uh, brush guard, 
is missing missing the center tube, which I'm going to either find and try you know track that down or get one made up. And it's also missing the uh, headlight loops. And these are great if you're bouncing deer or elk off the front of your vehicle, man. These are a must have. Hey guys, I haven't mentioned that red XLT OBS Ford that I had, the absolute minty one that I found. That was my barn find. I'll put that uh, video in the link below. That thing was absolutely amazing. Um, best thing I've ever owned and probably my only good barn find that, you know, for the rest of my life, I'm not gonna find a truck like that. Um, it was a single cab XLT and it had the 460 in it, but it was rear wheel drive. So it's no good for my part of the world. So I sold that thing and I sold it for 10 times what I, what I bought it for. And that's how I bought the boat. So the profits from that paid for the boat and that's where that thing's gone. It's gone to somebody that's uh, absolutely loving it. Young kid and his grandfather are uh, enjoying it right now. So I'm kind of happy about that. Um, but this OBS Ford is in my life again. So I'm pumped about it. And we're going to do an overland uh, setup on this. And I'll keep you guys posted on uh, new videos when they come out. Although this is 30 years old compared to a Tacoma, which might have been 20, um, and they're in around 10 grand now to get a half decent one. So we got this one for less than that. And even though it is 30 years old, um, it's probably sat in a field for about 10 years and it was a hay truck. So there's not very many miles on it. Anyway, thanks for watching and we'll talk to you all soon. Have a great weekend.